Hey guys, it's Maya and Cam. Um, hey. Today we're going to be talking about our experiences revolving around the whole COVID-19 situation that's been going on globally around the world and self-isolation and what we can do best to um, prevent that and still still maintain sort of a normal life while in isolation and while social distancing. So, and by means, we are not any experts out here. By all means, no, that's not what we're, we're not. saying. Um, we're not any experts at all. I respect all the people that are out there risking their health for this coat, for it to help us live a healthier life and stuff like that. And um, we're getting all our information from Alberta Health Services, CDD, see something like that. CDC? Web, CDC website. And WHO? Yeah. Just a lot of websites that are trustworthy because most information we do not know about this virus, but we're still learning a lot about it. Yeah. We don't know if it could be airborne or anything, you know, but without further ado, let's get into the video and hope you guys are safe. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this. If you guys like the information in this video, make sure to subscribe and yeah. let's get in and like the notification. So um, always... Um, wash your hands for 20 seconds. Mm. Um, maybe sing, I don't know, um, A, B, I mean, <laughs> um, um, yeah, A, B, C, D, or happy birthday. After that, um, always put hand sanitizer on. Um, cover your mouth when you cough with your, like your shoulder. Um, for um, always wash your uh, table with um, a wa oh, <laughs> wipe. Um, what else, Cam? Um, make sure to like try and um, avoid touching your face and your mouth and your just anything in the upper area because that's where um, a lot of that's how a lot of viruses actually spread. Mm -hmm. And um, make sure you carry hand sanitizer on you all the time. You know, you can never be too safe, but it's always nice to have that all the time. Though hand sanitizer does not kill the virus, it's soap that actually really kind of kills the virus. Um, because uh, the COVID virus has a special thick layer around it, which only soap can kind of breach right now. That's all I know. It'll about. be right here. Yeah, it's <laughs> uh, here. But. Uh... <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people miss interpret the word social distancing by all means it does not mean that you can you can't go outside and stuff like it's more it's more i'm being cautious and staying away from people as much as you can like you can still go outside for a walk and stuff but just To like really really populated places i would say and stuff and there's still a lot that you can do to keep yourself entertained on yeah. this long um two week isolation you can uh, uh draw you can what oh draw uh, yeah you can draw you can play video games Yeah, 
You could do challenges, you could exercise. There's still a lot that you can do. Mm -hmm. um, it's always yeah, good to keep your sanity up while you're isolated and stuff. And watch yeah. TV. You could watch Disney. <laughs> How beautiful! I think we'll be right home. This body belongs to us! First of all, let's clear out the residence to the and Let's see what else there is. Okay, so right here. Yeah, we already said that. Okay, so some things to keep in mind. Um, just try to stay in home and self-isolate if you just came back from traveling and stuff like that um um the symptoms right now are are dry cough a fever a runny nose sore throat uh mm -hmm. body aches um chest pain such as having a hard time breathing having and that is usually symptoms that go along with COVID-19 right now and someone that you that has been diagnosed, it's best to self isolate yourself before you can really endanger others. That maybe. Have you guys seen your grandparents? Or have you guys been staying away from them? Because I think that's no. important, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, the ones that you want to be concerned about most are those that have health issues and um, older people. Uh, so far, there has no haven't been any really children deaths that I have been like there's been a normal. few but they've just few, been no but... I, I think they've just been positive yeah um but they didn't show any symptoms so they might just be carriers but like i said we're not professionals like mm. you guys said in the video so we've just been trying to read um reputable sources he, um is malaysia one of those people that mm. we really need to be cautious to be around because she got a heart transplant like back in the day she doesn't really have an immune system at all so she always has to like have medicine so that like her immune system doesn't act up on her and stuff. And so she's one of the many people that we have to be really concerned about. And of course the older people. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, enjoyed the information in this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, notification bell, share this with any other people that you might wanna share this information with. We're not professionals, but this is all that we could do right now. And have ha have a yeah, happy nice isolation comment. while you can. And just keep, stay healthy. Yeah, stay healthy. I will see you guys. I hope later. you guys like this video. Goodbye, everyone. If you want to give someone a high five during, during social